With travel in lockdown due to the pandemic, I've had the chance to go back through some of my older films. And in 2018, I fulfilled a lifetime ambition and made it to Lhasa. Now at the time, I was still a practicing lawyer. So the video that I took was only ever a family video, if you like. In fact, I took more photographs. However, now that I have a channel, I'd really like to get the images out there. Now my wife Serena practices Buddhism, so she also provides some very useful explanation. The place is literally breathtaking. And I mean that because you'll hear a lot of heavy breathing. There is very little oxygen. Enjoy. So this is what Friday night is like in Lhasa. Everyone doing the parkour circuit. That is how they truly devout do the bar call. All the way to the Jokang Temple. So this morning we've come to the Drepung Monastery, high on the hillside above Lhasa to the north, founded in the 15th century by a disciple of Tsongkhapa. At one time it had fifth, well, about 5,000 monks here, now there are closer to 400. <laughs> Quite a contrast between the old monastery city up here on the hillside and then down in the valley you can see the new western very Chinese suburbs of Lhasa.
now come to the second principal monastery of Lhasa and that is the Serra Monastery. Again, there used to be thousands of monks here, now only about 400 or so. People here are queuing for hours around all the temples to get to a particular place where there's a, an offering very special for today. We managed to push all the way through with permission and also took part in the scrum at the very end. So what was going on there then? <laughs> well, there's a question and answer session going on. The people asking the question, the monks asking the question, they would have memorised the question. The monks sitting also have memorised the answers, supposedly. <laughs> so what's happening is they get asked the question and the monk sitting has to answer the question. And if he answers correctly, it's all good. But if he doesn't, gets a crack. Oh, that's what that was. Let's try again. So, <laughs> this is called debating, and this is how the monks memorise um, the information they have to learn as part of their education. So what's happening today, Jonathan? We have the Jokang Temple, the most important temple in the whole of Tibet, and then we have the Patala Palace, the former residence of the Dalai Lamas. Fantastic day ahead. Let's go. Serena's doing her first purchase of the day. And we are in front of the magnificent Patala Palace. Well, I've waited to see this for so many years and it does not disappoint. It's enormous. You can only imagine what it was like when, back in the days when Tibet was forbidden, one or two foreigners, one or two British, managed to get all the way here and they saw this. Whew. Yes, you're seeing that from here. You can see all the way across to the old city and to the Jokang. We've made it. So for many centuries the Dalai Lamas would watch the festivals here. All gone now. Well that was amazing. We're now coming out on the north side. And yes, she was just saying, before 1959, there was nothing on this side, nothing at all.
right, now for the most important temple of them all, the Jokhang Temple. It's our final afternoon at Lhasa and we've come to the Summer Palace, some residents of the Dalai Lamas.